I don't normally wake up and shower. I just had to shower off my spray tan today. So it is like 5.30. I'm going to a Pop Pilates class at 6. I love these early mornings like once I'm actually up. Before this class, I typically like roll out of bed and just put my clothes on and go. Make a little coffee maybe. This lip balm, so good. I know everyone knows this, but it's so good. Okay, I have this finish. Pre-workout little roll-on spray. I love finish, especially for like workout skincare. The tone down spray, I'm sure I'll end up using it today, but I talk about it all the time. I need to leave in like 10 minutes, so I've gotta hurry up. This is nice because you can kind of like roll your face out too. It feels so great and it stays cold. Like I've never had this in the fridge, but the ball is always cold. So I really, really like it. Um, I think I have a coat for finish. This is not sponsored. I just really like this stuff. Um, I think it's Kinsey for, or no, it's IOISM for 15% off. Okay, I'm gonna put like a very small amount of oil. There's really no point in wasting skincare because I'm just gonna sweat it off, but it just makes me feel good. Okay, ignore the laundry to put away in the background, but I set this set out for myself last night. It's this cute little Fabletics one I used to wear all the time. I haven't worn it in a bit. And then I always just wear these, um, that was scary. I always just wear like slides. So here is the set. It's actually like perfect for Pilates and then just throwing on slides. I need to, I'm, I think I will throw on like a tank top or something. It's just been so hot lately. It's kind of like, what's the point? Um, yeah, I'm gonna throw this on just for like getting a smoothie or something after which is how I reward myself for taking the 6 a.m. But somehow, if you guys will notice, I'm kind of like wide awake. Really the thing about having an early morning, the hardest part is waking up. And once you're up, like I'm okay, like I'm totally fine. Um, we really need my laundry away. So now I make my coffee. Coco's currently eating her medicine. I love a mason jar for coffee, always. The house just feels so good in the morning. I'm a big breakfast girl, but I obviously don't eat that. At, well, I'm not hungry at 5 a.m. Um, also, it will be a lot to eat right before a hot water class. So this is my favorite coffee combo if y'all are new here. It's Califia Farms Cold Brew, or Creamer. I talk about it all the time and this Califia Farms cold brew. I just like anything from Califia Farms really. And then I always do a glass straw. Just like elevates your day. That makes it a little bit more like luxurious. But I swear to God it also makes the coffee taste better. Like I can't describe it but. So good. It's the best coffee ever if you guys make coffee from home. It needs to be this. I used to be such a Starbucks girl. I haven't gone to Starbucks in like I literally couldn't even tell you how long. My water bottle is full from last night. This is the Hydro Flask. It's my favorite water bottle lately. Um, and we're pretty much good to go. I've got to get the dogs back inside and then we're off. Oh, I also grab my ice roller for the car because it's early and my face is puffy. Oh, I ice roll my face. One, it helps me wake up, but it also depuffs. This is the Skinny Confidential Ice Roller. I'm sure you'll have seen it literally everywhere. Thursday mornings are typically my favorite mornings for podcasts. Um, World Series podcast is out, and that's like my favorite probably, one of my faves. <laughs> my own drops, obviously. Today, um, my life as a 25-year-old retiree dropped. It's a great episode. And then um, we also have another Navigating Your 20s episode, which is probably up by the time you guys are watching this with Jenna Page. It's a great episode. 
Anyways, I was rolling, drinking my coffee, listening to a podcast, just kind of waking up. Just finished. I'm dead. 7 a.m. It actually feels really nice out because it's 7 a.m., but I'm dead. got a great smoothie from clean juice here's my order the double one but i always get spirulina in it it's so good Whew, okay i'm in the car and then my finish this is the spray i referred to earlier oh my god it's so good i already sprayed some on but it's a toned down spray the cbd infused facial mist cooling hydrating and energizing it's, I know I've talked about it before, but if y'all are new here, if you go to, like, that hot Pilates class is 100 degrees for an hour. So, it's just really incredible for that, because I leave, and I'm, like, a tomato, and then I put that on, and it obviously tones down my skin, but it also, like, makes it glow. So, if you have to go somewhere after a workout or something, especially, it's great. I keep it in my car, um, and I spray it, like, after every single workout, so literally every day, or weekdays, and... I love it. So if you guys are looking for a product like that, I feel like I was would have loved that in college like so much. Just took a shower and I put on a pair of set active pajamas, which is what I was wearing before. Here's the thing. I just act like these are real clothes, like they're lounge clothes. Like I'm wearing this to my blowout today. We'll be fine. Normally on Thursday mornings, I would wash my hair. Thursday is a hair washing day. However, I have a blowout today. I haven't actually been going to dry bar as much recently. Therefore, I have like three blowouts that are waiting for me and I have things this weekend. So I was like, I might as well. So I need a car. Clear, what is it? Super clear serum? It's so good. Oh my God. I was breaking out having like pretty bad adult acne. And then I started using this and it just helped so much primally pure this is the pumping serum i like their clarifying serum as well i like everything they have oh i also just put body oil on which is also primally pure and this is the jasmine body oil i like any of their oils they're the best it's not toxic the ingredients in there are good for you and good for your skin and i just love it i also have a discount code for that i'll have that in the description when i link all these products but anyways i just love this Listening to a podcast as I shower. So every day of the week, my morning routine is a little bit different because I work out at different times or just have like different scheduling. So I think my next morning routine video is gonna be like a week of my life of morning routines. They all genuinely have the same stuff. The only thing today is I'm gonna get my steps in on my walking pad later. Um, but a lot of the time I'll go on a walk in the morning. I just will either go, I'll either go on a walk in the morning or I'll get my steps in later. Today I'm getting them in later because I needed to shower in order to sit on my couch and do my reading and journaling. And then obviously this is my all time Holy Grail product. It is the only product I've used every day for like, for like five or six years. I like golden hour, especially when I have a tan. It evens out your skin tone so well. It's amazing. This is pretty much all I do. Get ready in the summer. Patch a top brow gel. And then I typically just put like lip gloss on. My bathroom is so beautiful, but you guys never see this part of it. I always see it, you know? It's really, um, there's too much going on here. This is my makeup bag and my skincare bag. And this is just like miscellaneous. I need to just get, this is a thing I don't even need to use, but that's where I put my phone when I film. Um, yeah, I just really need to go through this stuff, figure it out, but it's just like so cute in here. I wish that I didn't have those. I feel like those like windows, the blur, it just like makes it look kind of like, I, I don't know, I don't love that. I feel like the bathroom itself is so beautiful and then that just kind of ruins it, but I'm not gonna like replace that right now at least. Oh, oh, Fitzy. <sighs> have you been running in the yard? So this is my little morning vibe outfit. I mean, it's a dream. It is a dream. These skim slippers that I got are literally like my most worn thing. I don't even think they have them on the site anymore, but they are amazing. So this is when I go into my little entry room, studio room, whatever you want to call it, the happiest room in the house. And I read and I journal 
and I drink the rest of my smoothie and my water and my coffee, whatever it is. I also always have on a little like morning Nancy Myers playlist. Um, I go this morning because obviously copyright. Here you go. Fitz thinks that this is his dog bed and it really is like the perfect size for a dog bed for him. Okay, but out of the way. Good boy. You are so smart. You were so perfect. You were so perfect and so smart. You are. Okay, bye. I'll see you later. So I do morning pages, which I've talked about a ton on this channel, but if you missed it, um, I write for three pages straight. I do this, like, I try to do it every morning, and it really makes the biggest difference. Even if you, like, can't even think about what to write, you literally try, I have nothing to write. It gets things out of your brain that you didn't even know were there. It's very helpful for clarity. It's very helpful for, like, creativity. It's good for, like, your emotional, mental well-being. It's literally, like, the most transformative, like, practice I think that I do. So helpful. Okay, I finished journaling, and now I read. I like to journal first because if I journal after the fact, it kind of defeats the purpose of morning pages because I'll start, like, journaling about the book because I read nonfiction in the morning. So morning pages is supposed to be, like, a brain dump. You know, like getting everything out of your brain. But if I read first, then I'll just like inevitably like write about the book. I'm rereading already the Gap and the Gain book that I've talked about so much online. It is truly changing my life. And I wanted to reread it and take more notes on it. I'm like highlighting on my Kindle and then I'm going to like type out the notes because I'm going to use it as like a podcast outline. I'm doing an entire podcast episode on it because it's truly like changed my life completely in the podcast episode that went live like today in real time uh it's like my life as like a 25 year old retiree something about like like basically i just talked about how there's a part of me that really wants to be this like super successful crazy like routine like, entrepreneur or whatever and there's another part of me that wants a calm life that feels good to me that's like peaceful to where I am doing the things that I love and whatever but what I've realized through the gap in the gate is that the, I can do both and do it from a way that's not inducing anxiety on myself you know what I mean it's more of like living in the gain and the gap and like when I'm having them more, more when I'm having like living a little bit more of like a slow life even though it isn't like necessarily slow um it's like i'm living from the game like i'm living from gratitude and like my life is already good enough like how it not even good enough but like i'm already so grateful for the life that i have and i'm happy and everything else is just going to be extensions of that versus when i'm like oh my god i have to be this person i have to be this and like the entrepreneurship and all that which is something i'm really loving and passionate about when i'm too focused on that i'm living in the gap so it's like basically the premise of the book and it goes so much deeper than this like it's so worth the read is like start achieve ideal so from start you're supposed to visualize ideal right but too many of us live from um achieve to ideal so we're like that's what we're measuring so we'll never be happy because we're measuring against perfection whether that's like an idea you have of where you need to be or where someone else is or whatever you're never taking the time to recognize like the start to achieve like what you've done so you should always measure backwards from achieve to start because you're always looking at what you've actually done. And, and basically, it's like a psychological thing. You end up probably succeeding and doing more, but ultimately being more fulfilled, which to me is like success. So I guess it depends on like your whatever. Um, There's just like a healthier outlook on life. Like it's great for work, but it's also great for every area of your life. Like this book is changing my life. So the podcast episode will be coming soon. I'm so passionate about this. So I've never like reread a book right after ever in my life. I rarely, if I've reread a book before, it was either like 10 years later or an accident. Like I just don't reread books and I'm fully rereading it. That is how much I love that book. So anyways, had a great morning, um, drinking my water. I'm definitely going to need, need another coffee. I don't know where my phone is, but I need to water the plants also, which is like something I just love to do in the mornings.
Okay, I have to head out in like 25 minutes, 20 minutes. Very soon for my blowout, but very quickly, we're gonna make a breakfast that I made yesterday that I didn't even think much of, and it was so good, okay? This is all farmer's market, um, which I feel like every time I say that, it probably sounds annoying, because I'm like, oh my god, I'm the farmer's market, whatever. To which I say, yes, it is annoying, but also quality of ingredients, unfortunately, like makes a huge difference. So that's why I wake up early on the weekends and go. So anyways, this is ground pork. I thought they were supposed to give me breakfast sausage, but they didn't. Graza, olive oil, always, in my Art Place pan. This pan is the best thing ever. Um, I just bought my second one, and it's pretty much the only pan that I've used for the past like three or four years, I have an entire pots and pans set. The only pot and pan that I use are both our place. And I cook all the time, so just saying. It's really worth the money, in case you guys are wondering. And it's amazing for mornings because you can just wipe it off immediately and clean it. it takes two seconds, whereas like other things you have to like soak forever. It's just such a pain. I'm just trying to eat more protein because I've realized I feel a lot better when I'm eating more protein. Look at these like farmer's market eggs. Guys, one day do we think I'll get to the point where I have chickens? As of right now, it's not something that I think about. Like, I think about, like, horses. I see goats sometimes when those are so cute. Like, you know, but... Okay, this is more pork than I made yesterday, I will say. But I could see myself, like, my taste evolve and change. But they're always heading in the same direction, which is essentially, like, Martha Stewart. I could see myself getting on that wave. I'm making a bit of a scramble. Very simple and very self-explanatory. The easiest thing ever. The stuff that makes it so good, this is S&J canning. It's actually made in my hometown, I realized that after. Um, gone at the farmer's market. It's just chow chow, but it's so good and so fresh. I thought I would need like sriracha or something to make this better. No, it's not. You don't need anything else besides the chow chow. Time for another coffee. Okay, I will say I definitely made a little bit too much, okay? But then you just throw this on. Oh my God. And it's so fresh and just so good. Like if you're in Dallas, seriously, go to the White Rock Farmer's Market and completely recreate this, okay? Turning my literal pajamas into a wearable fit. Like this one is lighter, but I'm gonna go this one. This is Reformation. I love the Reformation one still, but this Abercrombie sweater, it's just the best sweater. I will link it for y'all. It's a really great summer sweater. I mean, obviously I live in Texas, so I don't really have to wear sweaters here, but like, I'll wear this on like Nantucket and to like, I wear it when I'm on planes and things like that. But either way, it's a great sweater. Okay, this is my fit, my wearing pajamas out. They're very clearly pajamas. I normally just wear them around the house, but I'm only going to dry bar. And maybe at home, who cares? I made a second coffee. I allow myself two immediately in the morning when I do early workouts because you need one before and then you need one after. I need a second coffee on any day I do hot Pilates anyways because it just wears you out. Packing up my bag, I need to bring my Kindle and my laptop because I'm working from dry bar. I don't know what it is. Honestly, it's worth it for me to book dry bar appointments in general because I get so much done that I've been putting off. I just like, become so productive there. Anyways, my sunglasses getting furred obsessed with them so I have my laptop my bag and then of course my coffee on my way with coffee number two to my blowout this is just such a fabulous morning it's why morning routine works why it happens oh the other thing I was trying to say earlier is that I don't like this whole hustle culture even like where you have to like wake up early and do all this stuff and cope up whatever I actually like a lot of those elements and I like a lot of the stuff I just sometimes will like stress myself out and feel like I have to do everything and whatever. Oh, um, and just feel like I have to do everything and whatever. So then I was like really lax in my morning routines thinking that would fix it. And what I ended up realizing was that well, I'm a lot better person and I feel better 
if I have an early morning and I like routine, it helps me with my anxiety. I like the structure it gets. I like the alone me time that I get in the morning because I guess I do spend most of my time alone, but um, it's different when it's like not working, you know? But what I realized from the gap in the gain wasn't necessarily like the actual stuff that I was doing. It was the mindset that I had. So I was like living from the gap instead of the gain and that's why these things are stressing me out not necessarily because of what i was doing so i'm not doing like a crazy crazy morning routine this just works works for me and what makes me like the happiest i can be if that makes sense and i'm not as anxious because i had all this time to do everything in the morning and then i give myself the whole day okay i've arrived here's my before again cannot stress enough how good this coffee is and i'm ready to work okay guys just got a very fabulous blowout like this is everything i need when i get a blowout so that is it for my morning routine i am unfortunately moving on with my day which i would like to stay in my morning routine forever um, I hope you guys enjoyed. I will be doing one that is a morning routine like, week in my life so you guys can see all the different ones. They all consist of similar things, but it's different day to day. And I feel like it'd be like a nice motivational video to have on in the background. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if y'all are new here. I got so much done at Dry Bar. Thank God. Love you guys. And I will talk to you in the next video. I went through like a teenage angsty era where I was like, no, like I love Texas, but like, it's not for me. Like I'm meant for like the city. I, I need to be in Los Angeles or New York or whatever. And I did that and it was great. Love both places. I didn't know what I had until it was gone. You know, my dad always said that to me. He's like, you're going to move away and then realize that you want to be here and then move back. And I was like, no, that's not going to happen. And that's actually exactly what happened. So jokes on me.